Well, hello, hello, hello. Hello, my fine, fine friends. <clears throat> Excuse me. Hello, 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 hello. Are you ready for your hour of pencil power? Are you ready to draw? This is our kids special. This is our hour, our kids special webcast, free for all the families in the world as long as we're all stuck at home. How many of you are at home? Say hi to me, please, in the text box on Facebook. We have seven on YouTube. Hi, Mary. Hello, guys. I got such a fun drawing lesson planned for all you guys today. We're going to call it the uh, continuing, the continuing um, journey, the continuing adventure, marshmallow adventure. I'm going to give it about a minute. Hello, Aspen. Tell me where you're from so I can say hi. I'll spend a minute here greeting everybody, and we'll get let, let everybody uh, log on that's going to be drawing with us for our hour, our hour of pencil power. Woo! It's going to be so cool. <clears throat> you know, in uh, uh, the previous lessons, we have been really uh, doing some fun lessons here in the past, uh, the, the past few days. We've done, uh, look at this, ocean drawings. We've done robots. We've done more ocean drawing. Look at all these hours. We did the escape of the Twinkies. The, the hour of, we did dragons. We've done Darla's the dog, the day in the life of Darla the dog with Darla in the dog house. <coughs> we, uh, Humpty Dumpty was uh, digging for treasure and got stuck in the mud. We did uh, the kitty cat, uh, the, uh, uh, space kitty cats here. It was so cool. And uh, the the up house, we did the ants, the uh, mighty ant, and the uh, the ant journey there. And look at this, we did flowers. We did some cool flower hours of pets. We did our the human eye and the koala bear. Look at all these different drawings. Now you can look back, you guys. You can see these recordings. You can see these posts. You can see all of these different. Look at how many we've done. These are all now. If you go to YouTube. Click playlist, and Amanda and Heather are helping me keep them all in the playlist under the kids at home special. <clears throat> There's our hour of pencil power. Look at all these we've done. Look at this one day after another, every day. Look at this. We did uh, wings and owls. Look at this. We did. Uh, look at this. The cool egg guy taking a ride. Today, we're going to do the continuing journey of the marshmallows. This is going to be today's theme, the continuing voyage. Isn't that cool? So let's do another hour. I'm glad you guys are here. Be sure to grab yourself a copy if you can draw in 30 days. Or, hey, get, why not? Get 10 copies. It'd be awesome. If you want to support my hour, my free webcast, if you guys have the resources, you want to donate, if it's worth a buck a lesson for you, please donate 10, 20 bucks. Appreciate it. Go to Kids of GoFundMe. Um, I also have my uh, my Draw 3D membership, which is uh, uh, really cool. It's at, and right now it's 75% off if you guys want to support me through getting a membership on that. It's... Uh, it's great. All right, let's go. I'll talk to you more about that and give you the code later on during the lesson. Let's go. Let's draw. So if you're ready, I'm going to zoom this in. I'm trying something new with these guys. Um, trying something new here. I'm, I'm zooming this in. I'm going to put a dot in the middle. I tried to, to raise the camera, my phone, for uh, the YouTube family. And it's, they're able to see a bit better. It's pretty cool. It's all right. Now, right here in the middle, <coughs> I'm going to draw our logo. Okay. Isn't that cool? And we're going to work on uh, square number one. So I'm going to start in square number one. I'll zoom in for this one. And I'll zoom in on YouTube on my camera. That's pretty cool. Maybe not that much. And we're going to draw two dots. We're going to draw the, a spaceship with marshmallows flying. So draw two dots right there. And what I'm going to do, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw the four shortened circle. Remember, there's 12 Renaissance words. And if you learn these 12 words, you can draw anything, anything in 3D. Put a dot out here. 
And then right here, stretch it out, put a dot out here. And what I'm gonna do now right here, watch, I'm gonna go way out and come back in close. And I'm gonna go way out and come back in close. We're gonna draw the four shortened uh, circle. Well, hello, Amanda. Hello, Amelia. <clears throat> Hi, guys. Good to see you guys. Great to see you. Um, it looks like I need to recruit some more volunteers, guys. I need someone in the room to be my virtual parent. Um, my other volunteers are so wonderful that they're busy. Jonathan Hayward's on the lesson with me. Hello, Jonathan Hayward. How are you? Good to see you. My uh, BFF. How's it going? Curve the bottom. So now this is a foreshortened circle. Looks like a cantaloupe. <clears throat> what we're going to do is we're going to take this cantaloupe looking thing and turn it into a spaceship. Isn't this cool? I am so glad you're all drawing with me today. I am so glad. We have uh, probably about 40 people on Facebook and about 40 on YouTube. It's good to have you guys. We usually get about three folks per viewer. So we have uh, almost 300 folks drawing, so it's great. Hello, Portland, Oregon. Good to see you. All right, so here's our flying saucer. Now, what I want to do inside here is I want to draw the Marshmallow Adventures. Now, remember, you're the director. You're the director. You're the character developer. You're the storyteller of the movie that's going on your paper, of your comic book page, of your graphic novel, of your children's book. So you can take this and you can have uh, anything can happen. This is your, this is your journey. Okay, this is your imagination. So, I'm gonna. Um, you can make it happen. Take what we learned today and change it, adapt it, embellish it. So I'm gonna draw. Here's the near eye right here, and back here. Let's draw that far eye. That's smaller. Tuck it back behind here. That's the word size. This is larger, and that gets smaller. See that? A little bit. Isn't that wonderful? Now, <clears throat> here's uh, we have one marshmallow that's flying. He's the space. He's like whoa, and then we're over here, I'm going to have this marshmallow. This marshmallow is kind of leaning in over here. Watch this. This marshmallow draw another four shortened circle, and I'm going to have this marshmallow kind of leaning forward. We're going to fill up. See, we're going to have now that's overlapping. You see, the marshmallow was overlapping the back line, so I put him in front right here. <clears throat> Excuse me, the marshmallow was overlapping the back line, so we erase it. Now, I'm going to put a really tall guy up here. He's almost bumping his head. Whoa, slow down. What are you doing? I'm going to have this marshmallow. See, it goes right through there, right? So put another one back here. We have a, it's kind of crowded in there, but they're all, they're, they're on the great ex exploration. Now, I'm going to draw, now I'm going to darken this in. I'm going to draw... This marshmallow's looking forward, look at looking ahead. That's tucked behind there. That's overlapping. And I'm gonna have this marshmallow looking straight at you. This guy's like he's staring at you going, whoa, what's going on? Whoa. So let's go ahead and darken in the detail. Define it. This is like focusing the camera lens. You parents might remember <coughs> the that the focusing of a camera. I know you kids probably never <clears throat> Excuse me, I just coughed into my elbow, of course. Now, um, you kids have never focused a camera uh, f-stop before or a lens, but you parents remember. It's like the kids not knowing the old dial phones, right? The old uh, rotary dial phones that we grew up on. Now, here, darken in the tone. <clears throat> Excuse me, now... I'm down here, I want to add a little extra. I'm going to put a foreshortened circle down here. And I want to put in something really cool. I, I, the, the, the fun part of this, guys, the really fun part is when you add your own ideas. You change it. You morph it into different things, all right? Because you you guys, you girls and boys, you you parents, you are geniuses. You guys are so smart, is that cool? Is that cool or is that kind of scary? <laughs> you guys are you guys are total geniuses. You guys are. You know why? Because I know. I I know. I, I see you. That's right. See? Look at I'm putting this. 
I see you guys, you're geniuses. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna add extra ideas. It just it looks like a flying saucer is pretty cool, but I wanna add more. I'm gonna draw like the uh, a thickness here on this little opening, and I'm gonna have I'm gonna have a uh, I'm gonna have like a a little uh, arm coming out, and then I'm gonna have the arm coming up here, and then this arm. Look at it's gonna have it's like a this arm's gonna have like a claw. Look at this. It's gonna have these the claws here, so it's, it could grab things. See, isn't that cool? So there's our little claw, and it's coming out. So now I'm gonna use my uh, my eraser here, kind of clean it up, and then wherever the claw overlaps, you overlap it. You see, you erase it, and that's that word overlapping. Now, if you want to get a hold of this chart right here, these Renaissance words, you go to my website, which is draw3d.com, and if someone wants to put that text with me as my volunteer room person, Nina or Amanda, could you put uh, www.markkistler.com, <clears throat> go to my website <clears throat> and click, <clears throat> click online learning. There's free, also you can go to www.draw3d.com and click free printables, okay? Now, if you guys are enjoying drawing this, I was telling you about that. Uh, here's my here's my membership for 500 lessons online. And during this time, I'm offering 75% off. There's your code, Kistler75 off. It's usually $200 a family. It's, on, it's only $49. If you have the resources, I so appreciate your support. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Uh, Tim Decker, how are you, Jared? Good to see you guys. All right, let's uh, let's darken these in here. Darken, darken in. Appreciate it. Now, okay, here's a four shortened circle coming across here. Now, uh, your grandmother had rotary dial. I know that's awesome. All right. I will put the links uh, that to all these things. If any of you can help me, I, I my uh, volunteers are busy with their kids today. Thank you, Mary, for putting the draw three D link. If someone could put the uh, the this uh, co code in the in the text box, Kistler seventy five off. I'd appreciate it. I usually have helpers right now, but apparently everybody's busy, and I get it. I understand. Um, now down here, look at. Let's put. Um, two legs. I'm going to put a leg coming down from here, a landing gear. This is overlapping. <clears throat> now watch this. I'm going to put another one over here coming outside this box. I'm having my flying saucer come outside the box. And then the back wheel there is going to be smaller. Okay, that size. The back one's shorter and smaller. So you go ahead and put, put, the, uh, put your little landing gear and now we get to shade this. We get the event, the marshmallows in their spaceship. I'm going to shade the side right here. Shade, 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 shade. And I'm, I'm getting the feeling <clears throat> I'm just having a. I, now, if I repeat something, um, I think that did, did we draw a flying saucer? I'm looking back through the pages and I want to see if we. If he drew a flying saucer, I don't think we did. Did we draw it? I'm looking back. I don't think we did. I think this is a new one. Oh, we did the pencil flying over the planet. Yeah, oh, we did. We did. We did a, we did a flying saucer. Sorry about the repeat. Uh, but that's all right. You can draw this a, a hundred times and still still learn more and more from it. Um, I, uh, I did a, a, a school assembly earlier uh, today. And New Jersey, I did a teacher's demonstration for my live webcast. And if you guys want live webcast with your school, send me an email if you'd like. Can uh, someone put my email address in the text box there? I'd sure appreciate it. If someone could put mark at markkissler.com in there. Well, thank you, guys. Uh, we did a repeat, so this is good. The, you know what? The more times that you draw something the better and better you get so that's why i've probably drawn this flying saucer ten thousand times and i still love it it's a great blending exercise for shading you blend it and you blend it 
Now, the point here is how can we take this flying saucer and make it different? Well, we put the, the handle on it right here, and you can put... Like you can put a little antenna. Watch this. I'm going to draw uh, this, 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 do some extra ideas. Look, I'm going to put a, an antenna on the front, four short and circle. Look at this. I'm going to draw, I'm going to add little extra ideas. Just because we did it before, I'm going to change it. I'm going to embellish it. I'm going to enhance it. Okay. And you could do this too. All right. Take it. To, what I want you to do is take every drawing that you do with me and redraw it and add your own ideas and enhance it. Make it spectacular. Make it spectacular. All right, put some, I'm going to put a little exhaust pipe down here, put a little Cheerio power coming out. Draw your own. Look, at we have 60 on YouTube. Hello, you 60 on YouTube. Averaging three viewers per Login, we have 180 people on YouTube. How many do we have on Facebook, you guys? How many do we have on Facebook? You guys, let me know. I'm going to go over to next square here for YouTube and for Facebook. Someone 38 on Facebook. So we have 40, 38 times 3, about 100 on Facebook. That's wonderful. Now, continuing the, the, the story, the saga, the saga of... Um, the, I'm going to draw the marshmallow monster guy. He's going to be kind of leaning back. So I'm going to put two dots. I'm going to draw a four short and circle. This is going to be cool. I'm going to draw this marshmallow guy. He's a big monster. Ah! Now, but I'm going to do something a little bit different here. Watch this, you guys. You know what I'm going to do? I think you're going to like this. Watch this. I'm going to change perspective. This Check this out. I think you're going to love this. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to switch it. You know what I'm going to do? Hey, I'm going to start. Look at this. It's a good thing we're erasing, right? Good thing we're erasing. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to make it. I'm going to go. I'm going to make it. Huge. Watch this. This is going to be cool. Look at it. I'm going to change perspective. I'm going to have this marshmallow guy going away from me. Look at that. I just changed it. I'm going to be looking up at his, this guy, this monster. And then I'm going to have this guy. I'm going to have his legs, his marshmallow legs. You know, coming from underneath here. Look at this. He's going to be standing here. And this this, this will be our horizon line. So look at You're looking up and you see underneath the marshmallow guy. And you see the monster. There's his eyes. All right. Look at that. I change it. Six there. Look at this. We have uh, uh, Juby, Secret City 2.0. Look at that. She's talking about this show, The Secret City, with Commander Mark from 1985. And in 1996, we started doing our Imagination Station PBS series where we won the Emmy. Very impressive. If you guys want to see the Imagination Station TV show, go to Amazon Prime. Type in Mark Kissel's Imagination Station, and you can see that all you want. Now, on this one, I'm going to draw... Uh, I'm gonna draw the the monster's face here. I'm gonna draw. Look, I'm gonna give him a give the monster his marshmallow mouth here. Look at that. Now you're looking up, so you see the top and the side. And now I'm gonna draw the marshmallow's arms coming out here. So I'm gonna put a foreshortened circle. And then I'm gonna have now see his arm. You're looking up again. See, you're gonna see underneath his hand. See, so you see the marshmallow for his hand, and then you see this this guy over here. Maybe maybe he's uh maybe he's waving over here. So if he's waving, you'll see you'll see underneath like that. See you, you'll see the uh, underneath. So this guy, this you're looking up at it, and this one you see underneath the 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 wrist there. Okay, is that fun? All right. So now we start darkening it. Our little marshmallow monster. Rah, this is marshmallow Kong. This is Marshmallow Kong, like King Kong. And he's huge, and he's looking over here. And let's use contrast. Let's use value. And let's darken the inside here. See, darken the, this. We're doing a little variation of this guy. You see this guy right here? We're doing a variation of that guy. And I want to do this little, this, this one right here. I want to draw the Marshmallow Hotel. Do you want to do that one next? <clears throat> so... Let's darken in the contrast. The, this is the continuing adventures 
of the Marshmallow Saga. So we have Marshmallow, uh, Marshmallow Space Guys approaching the planet of Marshmallow Kong. And what is the story? What's the storyline, you guys? This is how I start my books. I, I do a bunch of drawings, and then I figure out what story to tie the drawings together with. A little backward from what most author illustrators will do. Most author illustrators uh, have a story, then they illustrate it, right? But I, I think it, should, it goes the other way around. All right, so now on this guy, look at I'm going to draw. This near leg is going to be larger. But watch what happens here. I'm going to do something pretty cool. As it comes lower, watch this. I'm going to put, watch this. I'm going to curve the bottom right here. Let me, let me kind of move this up in the scene. I'm going to draw the, his knee, okay? So I'm going to draw a big marshmallow for his knee. All right, and then curve the bottom. See what I did? I drew a foreshortened circle around that space. Now back here, this is going to be higher. This is lower. This is higher. I'm going to curve this a little higher. See, it goes up if you... You notice that it goes up in that drawing direction. And I call that the drawing direction, uh, northeast and northwest. Isn't that handy? Isn't that cool? Drawing direction. You can get a free printable. All you need to do is you go to draw3d.com and you go to this website right here. There's some free lessons there to check it out. But if you go to draw3d.com, Again, there's the discount code if you want to get a membership. I appreciate your support. But there's a free area called uh, Downloads. Click the Downloads, and you can click the chart as a reference. Has anybody gone to Draw 3D and looked at the, the charts? Do, do we have any members of Draw 3D that are on right now? Do we, do, we, uh, do we have any members of Draw 3D right now? I see Richard wants to publish his own How to Draw book. I say absolutely wonderful. The more uh, How to Draw books out there, the more popular drawings are going to be and the smarter, more creative our kids are going to be. Uh, this is wonderful. Uh, we, uh, Sonia's members of Draw 3D, how, how has your experience been with Draw 3D? Have you guys enjoyed it? Now watch this. I'm going to put his feet. Now watch. I'm going to put two dots here. I'm going to draw a foreshortened circle around the base. Let me move this up so you can see what I'm doing. How has your experience been with Draw 3D? Would you recommend it for, for other families? This is, uh, I, uh, oh, Tim Decker. Thank you, Tim Decker. Tim Decker, the famous, awesome uh, former Disney artist, former Simpsons animator, dear friend of mine. He's been a special guest on 10 of these episodes of Imagination Station. Thank you, Tim. You can see Tim's episodes on Amazon Prime. I'm so glad you're with us, Tim. Tim, thank you. And you can uh, see Tim. Go to Tim's website. He puts all kinds of cool stuff. Uh, any tips or, trip, tri tips or tricks to getting them published? Well, the first thing is, is to write it. 99% of the population have a brilliant book inside their imagination, inside their heart, inside their, 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 their uh, ex life experience. The hardest thing is to write it. So sit down and write it. And don't write it thinking what other people would like to hear. Write it from your heart. Draw it from your heart. If you enjoy it, other people will enjoy it, okay? That's the biggest tip I'm going to tell you to do is, number one, is to get a routine. And every day it takes... Let me show you. You guys want to see see my book? This is the book I'm working on, okay? I'm self-publishing this book. It's taken me over a year and a half so far, all right? And it's going to be it's going to be about this size. Now, I just want to tell you a little, the, the, you kids, I want you kids to, to, everybody, if you have a book inside you, write it. You, you spend an hour, two hours a day and illustrate and write it. This took me three years, that little book, right? Three years. Now, this is what this is what's involved, just so you can head up. All right, so this is my book I'm working on, my favorite book. You can draw in 30 seconds, right? All right, well, I'll show you just, I'm going to just kind of spin around. I'm going to show YouTube first. Um, this right here, these files are all my books. You back here, all those files and these files and these files, all this is all working on my book. You can hear, you see my office. See all my, all my, these are all the clocks. This is the time. I know where it is around the world at different places. Now, this is my book up here. I'm working on my book. You can see all my, 
uh, all my book notes up there. So it takes a lot of effort to write a book. Now, let me share that. Let me share this with my Facebook friends. Okay, just be prepared to, to spend the time to do it. It takes time, but you, you, okay, so let me show you. Okay, here's my office. This is Facebook. There's my monitors right here. Cool microphone. There's all my notes. And these are all the time clocks. Tim Decker's been here. He, Tim Decker and Jonathan Hayward. There's all the clocks of the time zones around the world for my viewers. So that's some great artwork here. This is so I can wave to my son. Now here's my book. All these files here are my books. This is one book. All this. See over there? All that. That's just one book that I'm working on. And I'll show you some more cool artwork. Then over here, on the wall, you can see I do a lot of work on my wall. See up there? So it does take a lot of effort. And I want you, I want to encourage you, if you want to, want to write a book, make it happen. This is the time. You're at home. We're doing our part, right? We're doing our part to help our first responders and nurses and doctors and and. Uh, the grocery folks and everybody, thank you guys, you you guys for being our heroes, being our heroes of this time, and uh, being there for us. And it, it's working. The numbers are, are are it's working. The social distancing. So thank you everybody. Thank you for showing your love to everybody else by staying home and drawing. Woo! And working on your book. Woo! All right. So this is cool, man. We got our. Uh, I'm going to turn this down just a bit. Oh, thank you, Samantha. Yeah, put a shadow on the ground. Let's put a shadow on the ground. So we have the flying saucer coming. And then uh, I'm going to shade the side of the, the marsh. This is all marshmallows, right? The marshmallow uh, pile here. I can't wait. If you guys want to send me pictures of your drawings, here's how you do it. You post it. Don't email me. Post it to... Facebook comments, put a comment on uh, with the pictures. Um, in about an hour, I'll post a review picture on Facebook and on Instagram. And please post a picture of you holding up your drawing. I see the comments. I try to respond, but I do see them. Put a picture of you holding your drawings. Put a picture in the comments of uh, your family holding up all your drawings, okay? So what I'm doing is I'm adding Shady now to this. I'm adding shading underneath here. Our hour of pencil power. You guys having fun? How are you? Good to see you. Hi. Hi, Robert Newstead, our, our, our uh, executive producer. You guys, if you guys liked Imagination Station, if you like watching it on Amazon Prime, Robert Newstead's my co-creator. Can everybody say, hey, Robert? Ask Robert how many Emmys he has, you guys. Ask Ask Robert Newstead how many Emmys he's he's very modest. I have one. I have one Emmy. And I tell everybody thousands of times. All right, so we got a great drawing lesson going. We have the continuing uh, the continuing adventures. Let's put that title up here. So the title is this is the continuing. Uh, uh, the c continuing Marcy, this one's hidden behind here. Marshmallow Saga, right? Marsh, not mellow, mellow, but mellow. The continuing Marshmallow Saga. Okay, that's our story. Now let's put our our uh, our logo here. I'm gonna uh, our logo. We have our, and I, on this one, I'm gonna have the marshmallow guy. But I don't want to do the same thing. I want to look back. And on this one, I had the marshmallow leaning that way. So on this one, I'm going to have the marshmallow leaning this way, okay? And I'm going to put, uh, maybe, maybe I'll make the marshmallow monster look. Maybe I'll draw, I'm going to draw like a mon marshmallow monster. And maybe he's, uh, maybe he's, should he be opening? Maybe he's, he's like, I'm going to draw, give him some teeth. So I give the marshmallow some teeth. And he's 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 looking back at you. I'm gonna draw a little marshmallow guy with some teeth. Some big, some small. Look at his teeth, and I'm gonna open his mouth up here. Rawr. 
Okay, the, the marshmallow, look at, he's he's chewing, he's chewing on the, and then I'm going to draw the marshmallow, he has his, his hand, and I'll draw his big marshmallow, and then this guy, he's, he's waving over here, and there's his hand, there's another marshmallow, right? This is our hour of pencil power. Are you guys having fun? Give me a one through ten. Audrey and Avery are loving it. Oh, it, it, all things marshmallows, you guys. I would, I want to see a picture of uh, ninety nine marshmallows. Okay, draw the scene with tons of marshmallows. I had uh, in my summer art camps. I had the different families over the years do different uh, family works together. You know, creative collaborative pieces, and. I think the the one I had so many. One of them that really stood out was one child drew a bunch of marshmallows sitting around a campfire, and you know what they were doing? <laughs> they were roasting marshmallows. It was disgusting. Oh, it was just disgusting. It was hilarious, but it was really gross. It was hilarious, but it was rather disgusting. Ah, can you believe that? Very clever, though. Very clever, but disgusting. Here, shade underneath. So let's use our Stompy. Let's use our Stompy to shade our little monster guy. Our hour of pencil power. I'm so glad you guys are with me today. I I tell you, I'm enjoying this more than you guys. Now, Mario's down doing his schoolwork on the computer. I'm checking up there. Yep, he's sitting down there doing his schoolwork with his teacher. He's graduating this year from high school. That's awesome. All right, so there's there's our there's our picture so far looking cool. So now down here, if you guys here, let's write the hour or hour of pencil power. There's our hour of pencil power. And if you guys are enjoying this and if you want to support me thank you if you can consider a buck less than a buck a day uh for this month make a 30 dollar pledge it would be so so appreciated um the way you do that is you go to uh our uh, draw go to gofundme and if you want to make a you know ten dollar pledge it, it just to help so much appreciate it keep us keep us on the air okay this is i remember doing this with pbs but this time it's just to help me get my uh, team, uh, continue my team effort. Uh, you want to get a membership for Draw 3 to go to Kistler 75 Off. You want to pre-order my book. Um, you can draw in 30 seconds. Please go to my website at markkistler.com. Now, some people are wanting the, uh, me to draw a picture on the inside cover of this, and I've been doing that. I usually charge $100 for that. It's half off. If you guys go to markkistler.com, and you click store and you click the book, you know, that you can draw in 30 seconds. Um, or you can get the uh, 199 days of drawing. This one, this is a great book. We have these available right now. Um, for $50, I will illustrate the front cover. This is during this crisis, during, I appreciate, uh, I'd say it again, I appreciate, appreciate the business. I need the business and I appreciate it. Uh, you drop $5. Thank you, Daniel. Every Every five bucks, every 10 bucks helps. Um, it, go to markkissler.com to pre-order the book, select the $50 autograph version, and I will make it a $100 autograph. Don't choose the $100 version. There's three. You can choose $20 just for the book, $50 for the autograph, or $100 for an illustrated cover. Choose the $50 one, and I'll send this book to you uh, and illustrate the front cover. And thank you for your support. All right, so this one is the GoFundMe. Okay, our pencil power is called Mark Kistler's Kids Special. And uh, just again, you know, I, I I need the business, obviously, so thank you. Um, the most important thing is that you are joining me in drawing. That is, that is all, that's the most important aspect right here is you're drawing with me. We're giving the kids a distraction inspiration and empowering them with the life transforming joy of the visual arts drawing is joy drawing is creative thinking drawing is creative problem solving 
drawing as better citizens on the planet. I firmly believe that. All right, let's go to square number three. Now, this one, I want to draw the uh, that hotel. I want to draw the Marshmallow Hotel. It's going to be really cool. Draw the curved top. And don't go straight across. Curve the bottom. And what we're going to do is we're going to take this and we're going to draw some windows here. Okay, now watch. I'm going to kind of curve the t curve. This This kind of looks like an igloo at first. We should draw. We could draw an igloo. You guys want to see an igloo? And this book right here in my uh, Imagination Station book, and this book right here, um, if you go, uh, I don't know if any of you have this book right here. It's uh, really cool. There's so many different drawings, and I'm looking through the directory, and I want to show you the igloo. It's, uh, there it is. It's right here. It's Polar Party. It's on page 185. See the igloo? So I'll go to page 185. It's so cool. And, oh, this, this we drew the ice cubes, you see? I don't know if you can see that on, uh, I don't know if you can see that up there. And then here's, here's the, uh, here's the igloo. Isn't that wonderful? Look at the igloo here. There's the igloo. Isn't that cute? We, we should do igloos. You guys want to do, like, polar bears and igloos? Tim Decker taught me how to draw an awesome polar bear. All right, so now this this right here, there's the one window for the marshmallows to look out right there. Okay, there's one window. And then um, right here, I'm going to draw this one. This window gets more foreshortened as it goes around. Notice how we start really light with our drawing. We're light, light, light. Yes, yeah, Sonia, thank you so much. An attitude of gratitude. Oh, absolutely. Thank you, Robert. Beyond attitude of gratitude. Thank you, Sonia, for... Okay, Sonia, can you put the link to the uh, You Can Draw in 30 Seconds book? Sonia, Sonia's like pitching in to be my volunteer. So that's wonderful. Thank you, Sonia. Usually I have my volunteers throwing the links up there. Sonia, you're now... You're now... Uh, Sonja, you're now recruited. If you want to put the link to the you to uh, marcuses.com slash I don't know what it is, whatever the stores. Tim Decker Polar Bear is awesome. It is. It's really cool. The hardest thing for me to teach you kids is to draw super light. The hardest thing for me to teach you adults is to um, draw anything at all. Really, it's just a matter of. It's just a matter of getting the confidence to make that first line. It's breaking through the fear, breaking through the fear with just, if you can write your name, you can draw. That's what I'm trying to say. If you can write your name, you can draw. Now, this window's in the center. This window's on the right side. So if this window's on the right side, the thickness goes on the right side. Remember the law of thickness. It will never change the law of thickness. Now, the law of gravity changes depending where you are. If you're on Earth, if you're on the moon, if you're on an asteroid by the black hole, the law of gravity will change. But if you're, let's say you're on a spaceship that landed on an asteroid near the, the, uh, near the black hole, your gravity is going to be, you know, a lot more than 9.8 uh, meters per second squared. That's right, the gravity pull. What the gravity, the, but if you're drawing on a sketch pad on a spaceship, on a, asteroid near a black hole, the law of thickness will be the same. The window's on the right side, the thickness on the right side, the window's on the left side, the thickness is on the left side. Now, hey, hello, we have Anina Dace all the way from Norwich, England. Hello, sweetie, how are you? Hello to your family. Hope you guys are doing great and safe. Now, does that make sense about my law of thickness and my analogy with being on a spaceship on an asteroid near the black hole? I was trying to show you the comparison, how the law of thickness never changes. The law of gravity changes depending on where you're at and how big the planet you're on. So let's now watch this. The window's in the middle, so the thickness is on both sides. It's in the middle. Thickness is in the middle. Does that make sense? Is that cool? All right. I hope you guys are enjoying it. We still have 60 people on uh, Facebook. Good to see. Oh, 60 people on YouTube. How many do we have on Facebook, guys? How many do we have? I'm going to have a... A marshmallow poking in the looking around the corner here. 
And look, I'm going to have another one over here looking around here. I'm going to have one. See, I just have these, these little more. Look, at they're practicing social distancing here. 44 people on Facebook. Good to see you guys. I'm glad you're drawing with me today. I'm, I'm so happy you guys are drawing with me. Thanks for drawing with me, you guys. I see you. I see you. Now, coming up in days ahead, we'll be drawing dinosaurs. We'll be drawing more birds of a feather. We'll be drawing fish going crazy. More, just more cool characters. Just cool stuff. Sharks and kitty cats and, and penguins and big giant frogs and, and koala bears and, and ninja squirrels and, and pencil power flying. It's just, there's, there's an uh, infinitesimal number of drawings you can draw. Take your finger and say, yahoo. Take your finger and say, yahoo. You guys are so awesome. I am so glad you're drawing with me today. Hey, remember, if you guys want me to do a webcast for your school assembly, send me an email, mark at markkissler.com. We'll, we'll set it up with a private YouTube link. We'd love to have you guys uh, get all your kids at, while they're at home in your school. I'll go any hour. So if you guys are with me from Japan or India or France, I'll get up any time, any time uh, to do the hour-long uh, school assembly live virtual webcast. We'd love to have you. Okay. Now up here, look at Now what happens if the window is on the top? Let's go back to the law of thickness. Jonathan Hayward, yahoo! If the window is on the right, the thickness is on the right. If the window's on the left, the thickness is on the left. If the window's on the middle, the thickness is in the middle. Now if the window's on the top... Thank you, Diane Kelly, for helping me out and putting that link up there. I appreciate it. Uh, thank you, Diane Kelly. You're now my in-room mom volunteer. I just recruited you. Okay, I'm, I'm going to put a little antenna on top here. So now watch the bottom. Now watch what's going to happen. Watch this. We're going to use overlapping. We're going to use one of these words of our 12 Renaissance word right here. Now, Daniel Beth, this Daniel Beth saying, Mark, my girlfriend, uh, Faye, grew up watching you. We just found you again. She never got to send you her 3D ripples back when you're on TV, but she became a 3D artist in your style. That's wonderful. Thank you so much. Now, I want you guys, you, Daniel, and Faye, to send me post drawings of your lesson. Post drawings on in the comment section, in the comment section of my Facebook post please post drawings of you holding your drawing all right so i'm going to make this marshmallow house sinking in the in the mud a little bit in the sand so i'm going to draw a big lump of mud now all the curves going to the right of this guideline right here let me zoom this in so you can see it a little bit better all right see that now see this i'm going to make all the curves going to the right i'll make all the curves going to the left now the important thing to remember about this is variety I'm gonna, I did one curve, big one, now I'm gonna do a small curve. And then I'll do another small curve, see what I'm doing? And then uh, I'll do a big curve, okay? Now over here, I don't wanna have the same two small and one big. So I think what I'll do is I'll do another medium one, and then a small one, and then a big one. See what I did? All right, up. Oh, that's looking way too, it just looks the same to me. On the, I wanna make it different, so I'm gonna erase it just to show you what I'm doing here, let's just do a big one right there, and then a small one, and then a big one. Does that look different enough? I tried to make a variation or variety over here. Now, right here, I'm going to put another curving right here. Now, here's something I learned from you, Tim Decker. Tim Decker, are you still on the line? Are you still? Well, thanks, Zach. Yeah, take a break from the news. Take a break from the anxiety. Take a break from the stress. And join us for our hour right here, man, our hour of pencil power. Our, I want this to be the best hour of your day, you guys. Tim Decker, are you still on? this? I learned this from Tim Decker uh, for the horizon. I used to go straight across here, but what Tim De asked, told me to do is move up just a bit. He was a guest on one of our episodes of the Imagination Station. We were in uh, New Mexico, in Albuquerque, New Mexico, and we were dude sitting there waiting for the tapes and the cameras to turn on. We we're sitting at the drawing desk on the set. 
and we were doodling, and he showed me to move that back just a little bit. See what happens? Look at that. And then he showed me how to darken in right along here, and I've been doing this with every drawing ever since. He showed me how to make that contrast. You see how it makes it? Isn't that cool? That's a Tim Deckerism right there, you guys. So thank you, Tim. This, uh, Tim, I don't know, were you a viewer when you were growing up with my show? We're this, you're a little bit older than me, so I don't know if you were watching this show or just kind of met me uh, from when Robert Newstead sent out invitations to be a guest on this show. Tim Decker, you're so awesome. I love you, man. I love you, man. And Robert, my good friend, Jonathan Hayward, you're all on all my, all my, uh, all my um, trusted, closest friends and allies. You guys, so good to have you here. Thank you, guys. Jonathan Hayward, where are you? Send me a text. Jonathan Hayward's out in California. Robert Newstead's in uh, Chicago. Tim Decker's up in Milwaukee. Uh, first time, first met Tim in Redding, California. And Tim said he watched you when I was drawing cartoons at the United States Air Force. Tim was in our military. Thank you for your service. And you know what he did? He, he drew cartoons for the uh, Air Force newspaper, right? Wasn't that... You would see the service needs all, all kinds of talent. All right, so there's our, there's our marshmallow house. Isn't that cool, you guys? Do you love it? And then shade down here. I'm blending it. I'm putting a shadow. I hope you guys have enjoyed this today. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna erase this line. And uh, we got a few minutes left, and I'm, so I'm gonna go ahead and. I'll darken in our hour of pencil power shadows. And I thank you guys for your support. Most importantly, thank you for watching and drawing with me. I appreciate it. I do, I do. It's so cool. All right, and then over here. Now, I want to write, uh, I'll tell you what I'll do on the side over here. If you guys want to do that membership, uh, I'm going to do a, uh, you know what I'll do? I'll do a side scroll right here. Here, this is what I'll do. I'll do a little side scroll. This is the, uh, uh, if you go to www.draw3d.com, and if you want to support me, get a membership, I'm going to give you 75% off during this time. There's the code. It's Kistler, 75 off. It's not $200. It's $49 for a family for a whole year. If you're a current member, Please take advantage of that and extend your membership. Uh, me, my team, my family, we appreciate your support. I know it's crazy for everybody. So if you're valuing these uh, webcasts, you can go to my GoFundMe. Um, hey, donate a, a buck a lesson. How many lessons have you enjoyed? Do you love it? If you want to help support and continue, that would be awesome. Consider... A dollar a lesson. How's that? Is that does that something you guys can do? Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Attitude of gratitude is is absolutely right. Thank you, Robert. All right, look at that. There's our little uh, scroll. There's the seventy five percent off coupon, and there you go, guys. There is our hour of pencil power. Now I will post this. I'll post this. Uh, and you guys can check it out on Instagram and on Facebook, and that's where you make your comments. I'm going to check out. Katie says, you're always great at improvising drawings. Well, thank you. Thank you. Joel, Gory, Zebtron. Joel, check it out. Joel, I have Joel. Look at Joel. Zebtron from the... Now, Joel was, was on the uh, Secret City with me, and this is Joel Gory. He was uh, Cindy the Dragon, and he was also uh, Zebtron the Robot and Meta Man. Anybody out there remember Secret City? Joel Gorey, say hi. Give Joel Gorey a yell. He's, I'm his favorite quack. He signed my rubber ducky. Joel Gorey. He was out here during last summer. Um, it was so cool. Anybody remember the Secret City? Send out a shout out to Joel Gorey. Thanks for being on the line, Joel. Thanks on the line. Thanks for being on the webcast. You're awesome. You're cool. Well, I'm glad you guys joined me. I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'll say goodbye. This is always my hardest part is how do I end it, it right? I just like, keep blabbering. I'm such a chatterbox. Thank you for drawing with me. I love you guys. Take care of each other. Stay home. Stay together. 
Keep each other entertained. Be patient with each other. I'm learning so much patience. Be patient and understanding. You guys, I'll see you tomorrow. I love you. Bye, everybody.